I talk about Brenda Snipes, the current Broward County elections supervisor. Her whole job is to make sure that elections go smoothly in this particular area, which is Fort Lauderdale to the north of Miami to the south of West Palm. Very important area, heavily Democratic area. We'll get to that in a moment. But she's not been doing her job very well at all over the past few years. And it's been highlighted right now because you currently have the midterm elections still going on. The gubernatorial race between Ron DeSantis and Andrew Gillum and also the Senate race between Rich Scott and Bill Nelson both have not been decided yet because they're so close. You're talking about 10 to 15,000 votes in between them for each, respectively. This particular county is important because both of the leaders of the aforementioned races are Republican. This area is heavily Democratic with a very large population. You're talking like two million people or something like that. So a lot of people in one area that tend to lean Democratic could swing both elections. This person has been labeled as incompetent, corrupt, I think it's more about her being incompetent and maybe a little bit of corruption in there for good measure. Because if you look at her track record, some things she has done just don't make any sense. We'll get to what she's accused of right now and what she has not done right now in a little bit. But let's get to her prior record first. In 2016, she neglected to send out like 58,000 provisional ballots to the people in the mail that requested them. And then that led to them scrambling at the last minute to get them out there to people. She left off a measure on the ballot for medical marijuana on some ballots, not on all, but some just stupid stuff. Um, a thousand votes got found after the election. I think that was in 2016 when Debbie Washington Schultz got reelected. So a lot of different things have been going on in this particular area under this lady. Now, she did get appointed by Jeb Bush to replace the other person who Jeb Bush fired for being incompetent. If I could find her name, I'll place that in the box below. But she's been an elected official ever since then, ever since the special appointment by Jeb. Now, since the precedent was already set for the person who came before her in this particular role in Broward County to be fired due to incompetence, the same thing could happen here under Rick Scott. People are out there protesting in Florida saying that very thing. Uh, she should be fired now, but she probably should have been fired a long time ago because of all the mistakes she has made. This has been a repeated pattern from this lady uh, to call her corrupt might be giving a little bit too much credit. Now, to get back to today, she is not telling how many ballots still need to be counted. And Rick Scott's Senate campaign has sued her for the information. They're saying, hey, all right, you're holding us up. We're in limbo. We need to get this thing going. Let's move forward with the transition. How many votes still need to be counted? Because if it's not enough votes to split the election one way or the other, like let's say I think the gap between Rich Scott and Bill Nelson is right around 13,000 votes, which is very thin. But if there's only 2,000 more votes to be counted, then let's go ahead and call it right now. Even if 100% of those votes would go for Bill Nelson, it would not make a difference because it wouldn't be enough to close the gap. Let's figure out how many votes that there are to be counted. She's not providing the information and the judge ruled that she must do it, but she is still not complied. Why aren't you complying? Do you know how many votes still need to be counted? Have you thrown some away? She threw some away, I think, in the Debbie Washington Schultz election uh, 12 months after the election, but federal law says you can't destroy them until 22 months after. So, what I'm seeing right now is a lot of incompetence and a lot of inability to do the job. And this person, from what I've been able to see about her, is pretty well educated. But just because you're well educated does not mean that you are a competent person to be able to fulfill the role. This lady is not necessarily a spring chicken. She's been in Florida since 1964 with her husband. So obviously you're talking about somebody that's in their 70s or 80s. Maybe it's time for her to retire or go ahead and get fired. Either way it goes, this whole situation is just really being held up unnecessarily. Now, she had the excuse, well, we have a big county. It was a lot of provisional ballots. Is that in the third? Give us some time. But Miami's not having these problems. You're not having these problems in Dade County. You're having these problems in Broward County. So at a certain point, you can't look at the situation as, oh, we're just being swamped. 
there's too many people. As far as I know, Dade has more people than Broward. If I'm wrong about that, let me know in the comments below. The amount of people ain't the problem. It's the incompetence and the continued incompetence. You can't even mail out ballots on time. You're leaving off certain measures on particular ballots. Um, oh, and the most recent thing is that there's about 200, I think, provisional ballots or something that were kind of held in limbo, but are good ballots mixed in with about 20 that are not good. Now, this just came about over the past couple of hours today. So what are you really doing? You just don't understand what's going on. You need to be replaced by a person that's actually competent and is able to get these things done. If I was in Broward County, I would be incensed. Now, you're seeing protests from people and the media is trying to frame it as, oh, it's just Republicans protesting. Well, if I lived in Broward County, it don't matter what party I'm with, I'll be protesting too. Because I'm like, okay, if you can't even get simple things right, like mailing out ballots on time, if you can't even comply with a judge's orders to reveal how many ballots are left, then I'm thinking my vote didn't get counted or it may not be. It could be up under somebody's bed. It can be on the highway somewhere. It could be burning in a pile of garbage. It could be in the Atlantic Ocean, go from Mexico. I don't know where it is. So I protest you too because I'm thinking that you are mishandling the vote that I cast. Potentially, how do I know that my vote is not in that 200 that is kind of up in limbo? How do I know that my vote got counted properly? She also counted some votes behind closed doors, which she's not supposed to. That's also against federal law. How do you violate federal law over and over and over and over again and still not get fired for incompetence? I think this kind of falls on Britt Scott and it's coming back to bite him right now because he's running for the Senate after his term as the governor. And now his race is so razor thin and he can't get anything accomplished. He's got a pseudo person that he had the power to fire when he was the governor. So it's weird at the end of the day. Um, maybe he was afraid to fire her. Maybe it's not as easy as it may seem because talking about elected official, this is not somebody that Rick Scott hired. So to fire her may be kind of complicated, but it's not an unheard of thing because as far as I know, Jeb Bush did it before. And this is the reason why you have, Brenda Snipes in there right now because he appointed her after the other individual was fired for the very same things that Brenda Scott, Brenda Snipes is doing right now. So what do you think? Do you think that Brenda Snipes should have been fired a long time ago? Uh, she's been in office since 2003, and this is not the first time that Broward County has had problems with her conducting their elections. If she should be fired, why? Is it because of corruption, incompetence, a little bit of both? I tend to think it's more about just incompetence. Some of these mistakes are just kind of, you know, silly. Uh, mixing in uh, valid votes with invalid votes, not sending out the provisional ballots on time. And she's a Democrat, mind you. So if it's about corruption, then she is like a mole in there trying to hurt a Democratic Party because this particular area, as far as I know, is heavily Democratic. You're talking about South Florida, right there by Miami to the south of West Palm. You you right in the mix. You're pretty much in Cuba. So I think that it's going to tend to be more Democratic. But I could be wrong about that. She could be in there trying to make it appear to be more Democratic, although it's not. But give me your thoughts. What should Rick Scott have done? Should he have fired her when he had the ability to? Is it coming back to bite them in the hind parts now? What should be done going forward? Do you think that people who continuously mess up like this should be up for review after it's done? Whatever your comments are, please let me know in the comments.